The first activity is a Factor Rainbows PowerPoint game where students go through the slides creating Factor Rainbows and in the end they win a digital trophy. So this is a great tool to actually use to teach how students make Factor Rainbows. And then you can also just add it to your math centers later for students to practice for reinforcement. There's a fun Factor Rainbows craftivity. Students, they're all different numbers for students to choose from. They cut out the clouds and their Factor Bird. Then I suggest placing it on cardstock or white construction paper. this year to try to color their factor rainbows with the colors of the rainbow because we're also studying that in light. Students can decorate it as is or they can cut it out. Then they add their little blue bird and they're done. This would be a great display for a bulletin board. QR code task cards are the next activity. I place these around the wall of my classroom, but if you only have one device, you can place it in a math center. It's just the same format. Students use this recording sheet to create their factor rainbows. Then they scan the QR code to check their answer, and with these codes, you have to have internet access on the device, so that's very important. If the student is correct, they color in the rainbow. If not, they leave it blank. The last activity are some mini books, and this follows the same format as the QR code task cards and would be great for a sub or for homework. You just trim around the edges if you want to, cut down the middle. Then you fold them all together. Then you separate them, put them in order, place them in a pile, and then staple on the two lines provided. Students go through the book creating their factor rainbows, and this also provides a QR code option for them to self-check their answers. If they're correct, I tell them to color in their bird. If they're not correct, I tell them to leave it blank just for me to spot check how they're doing. So if you're interested in this Factor Rainbows activity bundle, the link is in the description box. And just remember that for QR codes, you do need internet access on your device. Thanks so much for being here. I hope you'll subscribe to Flapjack for more activities that make learning fun.